So guys and girls, welcome to a new video. Now today I will be reviewing my keyboard which I have been using over the past three weeks. So I did an unboxing about three weeks ago and today I'm finally going to be giving my full review and my thoughts on this keyboard. Let's get into it. Now the keyboard itself is really, really good. I mean, the way it's designed, the way it looks is amazing. It has 12 macro keys. In fact, that is why the keyboard is so big. The keyboard is a lot larger than a normal keyboard, say a full size keyboard, but this one is relatively larger than everyone else purely because of the macro keys. Now the keyboard itself is good. It's a membrane keyboard, so it's not mechanical. If you do want a mechanical keyboard from Perix, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys so you can go check that out for yourself. Anyway, the build is built out of plastic. The build quality isn't the best. However, it is still rigid, it is still sturdy, and it doesn't feel like a cheap keyboard. Now, I'm gonna name some of my favorite features of the keyboard. One of them is the lock and unlock button. Now, how I actually benefit from this sliding lock and unlock um, feature on the keyboard is that when I go to clean my keyboard, I can just slide it into the lock position, and then I can clean my keyboard without any keys being pressed, without anything being accidentally closed on. On my computer which is amazing now talking about cleaning your keyboard inside the box you get a key puller cap so you can pull out all of your keys and clean them really really easy if you want to see my unboxing yeah again i'll leave a link in the description now the macro keys let me talk a little bit about them basically they're there to make your life easier they are there to enhance and make your workflow more productive and make everything flow a lot quicker. For example, if you um, listen to music while gaming or playing, I, I know I just mentioned working, I'll get onto that in a minute. However, if you're playing a game and you want audio in the background, but you wanna pause it for a second, you can press a macro key, you can map that to a specific task, like what I just mentioned, you can play pause media, you can actually have your own custom text. So say if you write a lot of emails, you you can press one button and say if you write a lot of emails to one specific individual um, basically what will happen then is you can press that macro and it will go onto that person really quickly so what will happen is when you press that macro, it will input all that text and it will just save you a lot of time rather than typing it all up. What I want to also talk about is the media keys. It has a mute, volume up and volume down button. I mean, the way it's placed isn't the best, however, because normally most keyboards have them on like the top right or something, but they literally had it um, like three quarters into the keyboard. And yeah, I mean, it's not the best. However, it does work still. Now, the best thing about this keyboard, in my opinion, is the actual backlighting there are three main modes red green and blue colors so what you can do by this is there's three buttons on the keyboard there's an m1 there's an m2 and an m3 what you do is when you press all well one of these buttons it will change to that specific color so if you want a blue themed i mean i go with a kind of blue themed in my setup um so i normally have it on blue myself now if you want it on green you can press green and also if you want the cycle to change there's like this button where you can change all the colors and it will change automatically for you which is really really awesome now one thing which i found which is kind of a con um for this keyboard is that the backlighting does not stay on unless you are using the keyboard so for example normally when i'm like watching a movie or something normally i have the lights turned off the curtains done and i just want a tiny bit of light and i know i can um change my light bulb to a um different color but i like the keyboard and i like the mouse because it matches my mouse color and what happens inside what i figured out was inside the integrated palm rest what will happen is it has like this sensor inside it and if you tap it gently it will activate the back lighting i really wish perix would include something where you can just permanently turn them on um as far as I am aware, they have not done this yet on this specific model. So yeah, now there's also two buttons to turn up and down the brightness of the um, backlighting, which is always a plus as well. Now on the side of the keyboard, there is two um, ports you can use to plug in your headphones or audio jack or both of them at the same time and the USB cable isn't braided however it is fairly long and decent now the keyboard is around 50 pounds so if you are just overall looking for a great keyboard for about 50 pounds and I would recommend to go check this out this is a really good gaming keyboard and I'd recommend it to anyone starting out on um, like gaming on computers gaming PC gaming just in general and I wouldn't recommend this keyboard for 
for the office purely because it's way too um, big and it's just too hefty so if you're in a t um, tight space it wouldn't actually work and I'd recommend also buying a mechanical keyboard instead but yeah so if you like this review please give it a big thumbs up and go check out all the links in the description like I mentioned anyway guys I'm Hamza from Super Extreme Video and I'll talk to you in the next one Later, lads bye